everyone, my name is Kaya Watson. I'm a super senior graduating this December from North Carolina A&T State University. And I'm here with the hip hop legend of squad at A&T, Mr. That Boy Piff. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Okay, so you just came out with your first EP. Yes. Tell me about the inspiration behind your first project. All right, well, it was my first project that I've ever really released on the internet. I've been rapping for about five years now, so it was kind of about, about time that I put something out. Mm -hmm. But um, inspiration behind it, uh, really just, for, for this one, it was kind of a sneak peek because I have an album coming out later in November. Okay, so fans. I wanted to, yeah. Keep a lookout. <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and give a little sneak preview of just like, you know, the flow, just kind of like, what the whole uh, light bulb concept is about and just mm -hmm. kind of really like putting myself out there to kind of introduce myself to the world, you know? All right, and you said the light bulb concept. Can you go a little further into that? Yeah, the light bulb, uh, the whole meaning behind the light bulb is really the harnessing of potential. Mm. Uh, at the beginning of the EP, you hear like a little intro of me kind of explaining uh, kind of what that's about, but uh, really light bulb represents intellect, uh, moral clarity, you know, uh, just enlightenment in general. Mm -hmm. The guiding light in your life. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. beautiful. And you did your own artwork for your EP as well, right? Yeah. How long have you been behind the pencil? You're hiding. Uh, I've been doing artwork for forever. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm an art major at A&T, so I'm, yeah, as long as I can remember, I've been doing art. Uh, I actually wanted to go ahead and do it. Uh, the artwork for the EP on the computer right. and go on Adobe and fix it up and everything, but I kind of... I thought it was nice, the hand-drawn feel that it had. It yeah. was very authentic and very organic, so I really... Props to you for that. Yeah, it made it a little more personal. Exactly, yeah. um, exactly. So, that boy Pip, mm -hmm. where'd you get your name from? Alright, uh... <laughs> Take us back. Okay. <laughs> well, I know I first when I first wanted to rap, uh, I really wanted my lyrics and songs to kind of enlighten people. This still tying into the light bulb. And so uh, I kind of played off the word epiphany. And uh, I cut off the E, so it was originally epiphany, like just, that was the whole name. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took, what I did with the E, I made it into three, kind of just three things. Um, enlightenment, empowering, and electrify. You know, wow. so yeah, it's kind of And like all ties into the light bulb. Yeah, you know, to go ahead and kind of just, well, that's what my message was about, to uh, enlighten, empower, and electrify my audience. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but eventually, though, you know, the whole epiphany is, it kind of just seemed a little too, I don't know, kind of too long. It's okay. Yeah. I think, so. I think epiphany is better than, like, the guy over there. Like, what? Yeah, the guy over there. It yeah. has some meaning behind it. Yeah. So moving forward, Piff, what do you have goals for yourself as a... I guess underground artists, what do you have goals for yourself? Um, most definitely, I know I'm trying to really, right now it's kind of just a testing ground to kind of see, you know, who feeds off of what and who, you know, really likes this music or what likes this sound, whatever, because I do multiple uh, things. I can write four other genres of music also. Wow, what uh, other genres besides hip hop? Uh, R&B, pop, uh, country. Wow. And then also rock. I was listening to rock long before I was. Well, there. country is always storytelling, so that ties into hip hop. Yeah, you know, yeah, we yeah. go back with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a personal question. Okay. So those who don't know, Squad is a social aspect of A&T here. They throw parties, and you just dropped Squad song uh -huh. on your EP. Yeah. Tell us about your brothers and that, and how you kind of sat down and like, okay, I'm gonna write a song for us. Uh, okay, Squad. Uh, <laughs> Squad, uh, we originally started off as just 22 guys. Uh, we were all like kind of different groups that yeah. all knew each other through one friend uh, named Jarrell Leeper, who actually Dap, shout out Dap. Dapper J. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, at first we were just kind of, you know, hanging out together, partying and stuff like that. And, you know, but we're all from different uh, majors and backgrounds and stuff like that. And most of us, you know, kind of come from a more personal background where, you know, we had experienced other types of party at a more upper level mm -hmm. party. And we kind of wanted to bring kind of like the house party feel, but without all of the extra, you know, yeah. being hot yeah. and uh, being cramped up and all that stuff. We really <laughs> exactly. just want space to be free and kind of break past the whole little social hierarchy type thing, you mm -hmm. know, 
you know, everyone just comes and has fun, you know, you don't have to be like as fresh as, you know, you possibly yeah, can. Yeah, come as you are. Yeah, It's a know? party. Mm -hmm. Turn up. And so, so leave uh, the people with your social media so they can keep up with you, Mr. Piff. Oh, yeah. Uh, Instagram is at that boy Piff. Twitter is at that boy <laughs> Piff. And uh, the SoundCloud, just type in that boy Piff. <laughs> I pretty much keep it all in the same. It's simple. It's Easy to the point. Epiphany, thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm. This is it, y'all. Have a great day.